And, and I see on the TV that police are reporting that the guy who admits he did it says it had nothing to do with race. But why should we believe him? He's a murderer. Well, Stephen, just because somebody's a murderer doesn't mean they're a liar. I know that may be hard for you to believe, but that's just the truth of it. Just because a person can commit one atrocity doesn't mean they're capable of committing another. And the fact is, six Asian women are dead. Well, what about the other two people who were killed in the shooting? I believe there was a white woman and a Hispanic man who were also killed. So I didn't say anything about them. I know you're, you're all worried about, you know, the, the Asians being under this cloud of, of fear. But these other people, I mean, they matter too, don't they? But whatever you do, please do, don't tell me that this thing had nothing to do with race. Even if the shooter says that, he thinks it had to do with his sex addiction. You can't disconnect this violence from the racial stereotypes that people attach to Asian women. What, what violent racial stereotypes do people attach to Asian women? Or is it just supposed to be stereotypes that we attach to Asian women? What, they're, they make tasty food? Is that what we attach to? <laughs> At least violent stereotypes. You mean like this? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Trevor. But I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know these stereotypes. <laughs> This guy blamed a specific race of people for his problems and then murdered them because of it. If, if that's not racism, then the word has no meaning. Now, you don't know that. You don't know that. Now, perhaps he does find uh, Asian women more tempting than other women, and that's why he, he attacked them specifically. And you could call that racism, I guess, but it's not born out of, it's not born out of disdain. I mean, if, if he likes Asian women and then he blames them for his problems because they're not giving him what he wants, that's not disdain because of their race. Where you see the police officer come out and almost trying to humanize the shooter more than the people who got shot. He was at the end of his rope. It, it was a bad day for him. For him? That doesn't sound like they're trying to humanize the shooter more than they are the victims of the shooting. It, it sounds like they're trying to offer an explanation for why this happened. I don't think they're saying it's okay that he did this. They're just saying, okay, well, this is, this is what brought him to this point. It's unfortunate. Obviously, we care about the people who were killed. We don't want to see this happen again. We wish that this young man would have come to a, uh, a conclusion that he needed help rather than a conclusion that the solution to his problem was to kill other human beings. Whiteness is a pandemic. Atlanta shooting rampage. Hello and welcome to the ordeal. On March 17th, 2021, there was a mass shooting in Atlanta and it ended up killing seven women and one man. And we have Damon Young here who says, you know, whiteness is a pandemic and we need to get rid of it. So if you haven't been to my channel before, I challenge all things woke. I can't stand this woke agenda. The whole notion that whiteness is a pandemic is wokeness incarnate. It's just like, you can't get any more woke than saying, hey, whiteness, that's a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, what if he said that about any other, any other race of people? Would that be a pandemic then? No, no, of course not. That would be horrifying. But it's okay for you to say this because you know, you're an oppressed black man with a, with a high paying job and a platform to spread your message to millions, at least thousands of people. Whereas, you know, hey, I'm a white man. And I don't have that same reach. So, yeah, you know, whiteness is so terrible. Yep, just it's everywhere, don't you know? Well, if, it, if it's so bad for you to be around white people, why do you stay in the United States? That's the thing. It's not people think when I say that I'm, I'm, I'm saying, oh, um, you know, if you don't like it, get out. No, I'm saying it's like, why would you be in a country where you're the minority and you're like, life is in danger all the time like you claim it's like you can't walk down the street without i gotta look around i gotta carry a weapon with me I, I, you know whiteness is gonna descend upon me and get me oh no ah! well this is not happening and you know it's not happening otherwise you would leave why, why wouldn't you go to a country where you're the majority so that you don't have to deal with these problems so let's see what he has to say here i don't have much to add here today that hasn't already been said whiteness is a public health crisis it shortens life expectancies it pollutes air, it constricts equilibrium, it devastates forests, it melts ice caps, it sparks and funds wars, it flattens dialects, it infests consciousness, is, and it kills people. White people 
and people who are not white, my mom included, there will be people who died in 2050 because of white supremacy induced decisions from 1850. <laughs> okay, do you have proof of that? Do you have evidence? Do you have any argument to support that any way whatsoever that things that happened in 1850 will cause the death of people in 2050? In fact, I would say it's quite the opposite. The things that happened in 1850 will allow people to live longer in 2050 because, you know, things like vaccines were invented around 1850. Not really a true vaccine, but that was like the pre-vaccine era when they were making decisions about like, how do we, how do we overcome these diseases that we're getting? And they, they came up with some ideas, which led to the vaccines we have today. And hey, guess who was doing that? I believe it started in France, which was, you know, white then. It was all white then. So I don't know what to tell you, man. You don't know your history. This is the problem. People don't know their history. And they think they know these things, but they don't know history. So watch um, James Brand's Connections. You can find them on YouTube. And there's one about vaccines. talks about the history of vaccines. Whiteness is a public health crisis. Okay. Again, can you can you define this for me? Can you can you give me evidence? Can you show me what you're talking about? Because last time I checked, whiteness is not a public health crisis. In fact, we see other people committing more violent crime than white people on average. So I don't know what you're. Talking about. I mean, where are you getting this from? <laughs> I, I'm I'm white. It's like just by my sheer existence, I spread disease. Ooh, but that, no, that's crazy to think. That's not true. <laughs> okay. It shortens life expectancy. Nope, nope, nope. We already talked about vaccines, how they were invented by white people. Oh, so were, so were antibiotics. So was indoor plumbing, which has been a godsend for, for life expectancies. All these, all these inventions that have extended life have been invented by white people. So I don't know. I mean, you're probably referring to the fact that, the, that there are white shooters. Oh, there's, there's white mass shooters. Really? That's the problem, is it? Well... We'll get to that in a minute. I'll show you about how it's not just white people. <laughs> it pollutes the air. Okay, so the technology that white people have invented has led to air pollution. Yes, you're right. But technology that black people came up with also led to air pollution. In fact, assuming that uh, humans were black when they first evolved in Africa, which we don't know for sure. They, they could have been a multitude of other colors. Uh, well... They invented fire. You know, they, they came up with this fire thing, or at least they used fire. They used it before white people did. Because white people came along later. And and that pollutes air. So, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you about that. It's <laughs> these people. And, yeah, they, there's, you know, with our mass technology that white people have pushed, they, they've come up with these, these things like cars and industrial manufacturing and stuff that does add to air pollution. I agree 100%. So there are two solutions to that problem. One is stop with this disposable society where we throw everything away. That will help, but it's not going to solve the problem. That will slow things down, but it's not going to solve the problem. And the other thing is reduce the population. That's the only other thing you can do. And, and that's really the only thing that's going to solve the problem. We might be able to technology our way out of this. That's possible. I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't have all the answers regarding that. Um, it devastates forests. Yes, we cut down forests to make things out of the forest. You're right. Again, do you use anything that's wood? Do you not use any wood? I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you don't use wood, then okay, you're, you're, you're right. But you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that black people use wooden objects. It melts ice caps. We already talked about the air pollution, which is okay. Oh, I skipped over constricts equilibrium. What the heck is that? the hell is constricts equilibrium I, I don't have any problem standing upright I, I i think i'm doing okay there i can stand upright it sparks and funds wars yes nobody's ever fought a war ever in the entire history of humanity until white people came along nobody ever did that oh wait no wait. human beings have been fighting wars ever since they formed more than one tribe oh what was i thinking uh it flattens dialects so what i don't know if you know what dialect means but you know it, there are Four different major dialects in U.S. Then you got the English dialect, the Irish dialect, the Australian dialect, Canadian dialect. Uh, so there's lots of different English dialects. Well, what are you What are you referring to? And and so what if it does? 
So what if we all speak the way that I'm speaking right now, the least inflected form of English that we can use? Um, I don't know what to tell you how this is a bad thing. This is not a bad thing in any way. It infests consciousnesses. So what? what <laughs> How is this bad? What, what, what is the problem with infesting consciousnesses? With having this idea that there's white people in the world. Oh my gosh, there's white people in the world. They have ideas that come from a European history, mostly. It, that's, that's a bad thing, apparently. And it kills people. White people and people that are not white. <gasps> Nobody. Nobody's ever killed anyone if they weren't white you know the uh, murder only came along when white people came came to the to the world before then there was no such thing as murder and they taught the rest of the races how to do it because every other group of people murders people so i don't know what you're talking about here you imbecile God, these, these imbeciles a line can and should be drawn from the actions of the white supremacist who walked into three atlanta area massage parlors yesterday and allegedly killed eight people, six of whom were Asian in descent, to the relentless anti-Asian rhetoric pollinating national discourse over the past year. There is, There has been some anti-Asian rhetoric, but it's been very minimal from what I've seen. And you have to understand that people are afraid and people want to wanna point the finger at others. And it's not white people doing this. Here we go. I don't know how to pronounce this. And and to, and toy, and I don't Watson. Mr. Watson. He uh, is accused of um, he he brutally murdered a Asian man just just because he's walking down the street. This Mr. Vika. So yeah, he he murdered a um, an Asian man, an elderly Asian man in San Francisco. He looks kind of um, not white to me. I'm not sure what race he is. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's not white though, but his skin is not white. And look at this, cool right here. There's his grandma. Look at his granny. Oh, there she. This is the man that he killed, by the way. Here's a, a still of him pushing this man over and killing him. The grandmother of teen who killed elder, elderly Thai man says grandson should walk free. <gasps> what a nice lady. She wants her grandson, who's a murderer, who's an unprovoked murderer, mind you. He had no reason to do this other than he's afraid of Asian people, or he's just a jerk in general. She wants him to walk free. That's such a sweet sentiment, isn't it? She's a teen. What are you, your granny's got his back. Granny, what a good woman she is. He should, he's a good boy. He, I love him to death, she says. Look at this down here. She's, I love you, whatever your name is. Oh, yeah. He killed an 84-year-old man. He's 19 years old. The prime of health. 19 years old. You're strong and fit. Have a lot of energy when you're 19. When you're 84, that's not the case anymore. You're frail. He weighed like 115 pounds, this guy. Just gets killed outright. Not with a weapon. This, this this kid just attacked him and killed him outright. So we got Calvin, Burchill, Jason, Orozco, and Nalo, Nalode Bashirs. I don't have a good image of them. This is probably the best image I can find of them. They look like they're... This guy looks like he's black for sure. I'm going to guess these other two are black too based on the way that they move and their names. They attacked in Mugday. An elderly Asian man in a laundry mat. You know, that's nice of them. We have this uh, article here. Three arrested in attack of man in laundromat in San Francisco's Chinatown. There's a video attached. So I'll, I'll put this down in the comments. I'll pin this in the comments, this uh, article here. There's a video right here. I'm not going to play the video. Watch the video because, you know, copyright and, stu and stuff. Th this video shows d uh, probably a dozen, maybe 20 attacks on Asian people. All of the perpetrators, every single one of them is black. It's not white people that we need to worry about. Yes, there are white people that are a problem. It's not black people that we need to worry about either. We need to worry about criminals, okay? Ah, these people. Here's another Here's another instance of, a, of an attack. This guy was just walking down the street, and this black kid comes up and pushes him over. That's that's really nice of you, man. You, you go, go attack random people walking down the street. I'm not a very large man. These people could hurt me. They're bigger than me. They can hurt me if they're smaller than me, but it's going to be harder for them to knock me over if they're smaller than me. <sighs> Man, these people. The former president and party of the former president can and should be blamed for this and the sudden increase in racist violence against Asian Americans. No, they shouldn't. Just because you say that the virus came out of China, that doesn't, that, 
That doesn't mean that you're to blame for the virus coming out of China. It doesn't mean that you're to blame for these attacks on Asians. And I take this, this is actually a very personal thing to me because my wife is Asian and she's Thai. This, this Thai man was killed. I don't want to see my wife get attacked because she's, you know, Thailand didn't even create the virus. It's not Thailand that's the problem. And I don't blame you for being mad at China for, for making this, for covering it up, but you can't blame the individuals of China, especially the ones that come here. The ones that come here are trying to get away from that crap in their home country. Well, not all of them, but the majority of them are, are like here because they want to have this, this life here, a life here instead of the life they had over there. The line doesn't stop there, though. Oh, no, it doesn't stop with, with uh, Donald Trump. Got to blame him for everything, of course. It extends back 400 years and has tentacles clawing everywhere. White supremacy exists here in America, which is everywhere. Oh, yeah. 400 years means like to 1619? That debunked theory that, oh, racism was invented in 1619 by white people. That's, that's thoroughly, totally debunked. Okay? <laughs> Don't know... Where you get these notions from, racism has been around, or racism, but slavery has been around forever. And so you're going to say that, you know, white, you would call me a white supremacist. You would say that. You'd be like, you're a white supremacist because I want less immigration. We don't need immigration anymore in this country. We have enough. We have enough people coming here. We don't need any more coming. There's a line connecting this act of terror to the 11 people killed at the Tree of Life synagogue in 2018. Yeah, okay. Can you prove that? Nine people killed in Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in 2015. Again, can you approve that? Of course. But also to gentrification, to redlining, to racial profiling, to gerrymandering, to voter oppression, to mass incarceration, the war on drugs, to the subprime mortgage crisis, to the vast disparities in both COVID-19 deaths and who receives COVID vaccinations. Uh, yeah, you're right. The, the, the uh, non-whites are getting preferential treatment and who received COVID vaccines. So I don't know what you're talking about there. <laughs> you want to blame all of a sudden white people, then why are we giving the, the vaccines to, to non-whites? <laughs> to how the men and women who stormed the Capitol just went home and had dinner with their families afterwards. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No criminal in the history of, of criminals has ever just gone home after a crime and then ignored the fact that they committed a crime. Nobody's ever done that except for when they stormed the Capitol. While we were still processing and recovering from what we witnessed, they were already back on their couches watching criminal minds. Yeah, and now a lot of them have been arrested, and a lot of them have been arrested for not doing anything criminal in that process. What about Ashley, who was shot in the neck just for looking in a window? Apparently, what she was doing was probably illegal, but she didn't deserve to be shot for it, and she certainly didn't deserve to be killed for it, and she was white. But you don't care about that because you have your agenda that, you know, it's always black people are the victims. White people are the perpetrators. Yeah. White supremacy is a virus that, like other viruses, will not die until there are no bodies left for it to infect. Oh, so you want to kill all white people. You want to kill all white people. Yeah. That's that's great, man. You're, you're a good guy. Which means the only way to stop it is to locate it, isolate it, extract it, and kill it. Yep. Like I said, you want to kill all white people. I guess a vaccine could work, but we've had 400 years to develop one. So I won't hold my breath. Yeah, because I told you already vaccines are, were developed around 1850. Yeah, this guy. Wow. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.